Hello and welcome to the Bird Tales. Earlier this week, which was Saturday, October the 24th, Skip and I went to a WMA, a little tiny WMA. It wasn't our first choice for a spot, but our first and our second choice for spots already had somebody hunting on them. So we ended up on this little WMA. And the biggest problem with this spot is that all you get to do is walk down until you hit a big deep ditch that you can't cross, turn around and walk back. And we had just gotten off of the road when a rooster flushed right off the ditch in this uh, little patch of woods. And he flushed out of range, but I took a shot anyways and missed him. And then we continued all the way down to the big ditch, never saw another bird, turned around and came right back. And we just got back to the car and there's this little patch of spruce trees just off the road. And I was looking at him and thinking, you know, there could be a bird in there, but Ah, it's not worth it, let's just go. So I think I had shut the GoPro off and opened up the back door of the car and I said, come here, Skip. And as I said, come here, um, a rooster cackled in that patch of spruce trees. So we walked down there and um, I wasn't paying too much attention to anything over there. I was listening for cars and trying to make sure the dog wasn't on the road. And Skip went on point, or at least I saw the collar buzz. I couldn't see Skip at all. And he was down there for probably 10 seconds or so, I think on point, and the rooster flushed. And he flushed and went right back where we had just walked from. So we went back on the road, past the car, down that edge, and got to where I thought he'd went down. Uh, Skip went on point and everything, and we looked all over and never did find him again. So I'm assuming that he heard us coming or saw us coming and he flew out of there um, when we weren't paying attention. So that was it. All right, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next time.